And then there's the Bennett fire threatening the town of Grass Valley this afternoon. Tonight, crews getting things under control. That fire now 70% contained. It burned around 50 acres east of town. All but one evacuation order has now been lifted. Let's get to CBS 13's Valina Jones live in Grass Valley with the latest on the Bennett fire and why a shelter in place order was issued there today. Valina. Well, I want to give you a look at what we're seeing right now because hours after that fire first sparked, we're still seeing hot spots in the area right off of East Bennett Road here behind me. And then if you look further off into the distance in this vegetation, you're seeing several hot spots in this area. Now, as you mentioned, a shelter in place order was set right in the line of the fire zone. Fire crews tell me they had to weigh the risk versus the gain in all of this in choosing not to evacuate people that were in assisted living facilities that were already at risk with failing health and elderly. Instead, they decided to put more resources to make sure fires like this didn't get any closer to that building. It was a wall of flame. 200 foot plumes of smoke, airdrops from above, an aggressive approach to a fast moving fire in Grass Valley. It actually started out like the size of a car and it was like a wall of flame in a matter of seconds. Larry Huntington lives at the Bennett Industrial Park trailer storage and started fighting the flames himself, threatening the facility with his water truck. A panic started setting in and I couldn't see. It was just uh, white and dark smoke just like trees erupting. The Bennett fire calling for over 4,000 people to be evacuated while asking 3,000 others to shelter in place, including a hospital and these assisted living centers directly in the line of fire. Is it the risk versus the gain? Did we bring them out into the smoky environment and risk all of the potential issues that come along with that? Or is the building safe enough inside to protect them? The decision was made today that we could protect those buildings. Burned out cars and hillsides show the path of the flames threatening several commercial buildings in the city with 200 firefighters on the front line. Air support also playing a crucial role in this firefight. And we were lucky enough to be less than two air miles from our Grass Valley air attack base and get multiple air resources onto this fire very rapidly with a very short turnaround time. Now, luckily, no structures have been lost tonight. Evacuation orders remain in place near Idaho, Maryland Road and Centennial Drive. Tonight, winds are not a concern, but hot spots like these are. They're continuing to patrol these areas, saying that they're doing an aggressive approach, even in the areas of the fire that have already been contained, because what they saw today is that these hot spots were going ahead of the fire line, which is very concerning for them. So these kind of hot spots are their priority here tonight.